So this is You Are a Raccoon, and it's the second book in the Meet Your World series. I talked about why I chose to do the second person point of view, which is to pull in the young readers and make the facts feel more immediate and engaging. Well, when the illustrator Jay Fleck saw that manuscript, he took the idea and ran with it. Um, and I couldn't be happier with his interpretation. Not only did he make the most adorable artwork um, to go in the book, but he also introduced um, these super cute spot illustrations of children acting out the actions that the animals are taking. Um, and we highlighted those words in the text as well as the bubbles that he drew. Um, give you an example here. Now it is your turn. You grab for a grasshopper, but you miss. You bite at a bird, but you miss. You pounce on a mouse, but you miss. Grab, bite, pounce. Then you spot a snail. You watch, you leap, you chomp. Watch, leap, chomp. I think this just adds to the interactivity and fun and encourages young readers to act out what the animal is doing and show them how much they have in common with those animals. Hopefully those similarities will inspire them to care about the animal and want to protect them. Both books also have um, a lot of additional back matter, which um, includes fun facts, more ways to pretend play, why they matter, and then as well as some practical action steps that kids can take to help those animals thrive and take care of the environment. That is You Are a Raccoon.